Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars. The technical definition of a new car is a car that has never been titled because when a car dealer buys cars from the manufacturer, they come with a manufacturer's certificate of origin. It's also referred to sometimes as the MSO. It's an open title, so to speak, but it's never been titled. It's never been in anybody else's name. And the reason this is important is that whenever you decide to trade that new car in, the next buyer and the dealer that you traded into, he's going to look at that title and he's going to know that you're the first owner or the second owner. He doesn't know whether you've got 400 miles on the car or 4,000 miles on the car when you bought it. Uh, so you could you could technically buy a car with 25,000 miles on it, but you're the first owner, and the and the next owner or the dealer that you traded into. Uh, he could assume that you're, it's a one-owner car. It might, it might have a few more miles on it than he liked, but as far as he's concerned, it's a new car. So ironically, the mileage on the new car when you buy it does not signify anything technically or legally about whether it's a new or used car. It's whether that manufacturer's certificate of origin has been assigned to an owner. There are a lot of reasons that new cars can have mileage on them. How about dealer trade. About half the cars that are sold are not uh, originally stocked at the dealership from which you buy it. Dealers draw from a pool of cars all over the state or even even out of state. If you're looking for a particular description car, uh, that dealer in North Palm Beach might not have that uh, white Civic with uh, specific accessories. Maybe the nearest one he can find is in a Honda dealer's inventory in Jacksonville. Well, that's 300 miles away. Now, you could flatbed it on a truck down here, but that doesn't happen. Usually, you send a driver up, uh, you know, two people in the car, and one drives it back. Now you got 300 miles on the car. Maybe the car has been demonstrated. People come in and say, I want to try out that white Honda Civic, see if I like it. So the salesman takes out a demonstration ride. You put another 10 miles on the car. It's not unusual to buy a new car that actually has several hundred miles on it. If I was buying a car, I'd rather have a car with two miles on it than 200 for one reason. You want something brand new and fresh. The other danger you have is sometimes these cars have so many miles on them that there could have been something that occurred uh, that you weren't aware of. The good news is that as long as it's a new car, the manufacturers typically will allow the uh, dealer to add the miles that are on it delivery to the warranty. So if you had a 36,000 mile warranty and you bought that car with 400 miles on it, it will have 36,400. And the time will also, if it's a three year, the time will start from the time you take delivery. That is what happens when you don't title the car. So be careful. Uh, always look at the odometer of the car you're buying. You might uh, look at a car and it might be the exact same model and, and equipment. And look at the odometer. Remember what the, um, the mileage was because you might not be taking delivery until, you know, two days later. They got to get the car ready. They got to install that fancy radio you wanted or whatever other accessories you wanted to buy. Be sure that the car still has the mileage on it that you saw when you delivered it. Typically, you don't look at the odometer right away. You get in the car and you drive it home and suddenly two or three days later as you look down, you say, I don't think I put a thousand miles on this car, but there they are. When you buy the car, you will sign an odometer form, not only for the car that you trade in, but for the car that you bought. And be sure that the mileage that's shown on that odometer form that you sign before you take delivery matches the mileage on the odometer of your car. A lot of times the salespeople, when they're selling cars, they'll just put a number in because they don't want to go out in the hot sun and go out in the lot, find the car, and and open the car and look inside and actually see what the odometer. Now with today's digital odometers, you've got to start the car and be able to read the uh, mileage. So they'll guess sometimes on the mileage. So they might put down 55 miles on your odometer form that you're looking at when you sign, but that car sitting out on the lot that you're going to take delivery on might have 700 miles on it. So... Uh, always know exactly what the mileage of the car is, and of course you also should be absolutely sure the car has not been titled. Uh, it's specified on your invoice, your buyer's order. It's going to have to say something like new car, used car, demonstrator, executive car. Anytime you deliver a car that has been delivered before, 
Uh, let's say a customer comes in a week before you got there, and he took delivery of the car. Now, come to find out his credit wasn't any good. Had to bring the car back. Now, that fact must be disclosed to you, and that's one of the ways that cars get mileage on them. There's something called a spot delivery that we do. That means that they deliver the car as soon as the person comes in and says, I want to buy the car, signs on the dotted line, credit check has not been completed, then the car is delivered. The car could be on the road for a week, two weeks. Sometimes it takes even longer than that. Negotiating with a bank, trying to get the credit approval. And you find out you can't get the credit, credit approval, so you bring the car back, and now it's got 300 miles, or it might have 3,000 miles. That fact must be disclosed in, on a form that you sign that says this car was delivered to another owner and the car was brought back. That fact has to be, if it wasn't, then you could get your money back. So these are one of the many, many things that you have to look out for when you take delivery of a new car that's got mileage on it. 